So anyway, thank you so much for talking to me today. It's a pleasure. I think um, we've spoken before. I think it'd be really interesting to start by looking at the museum before the pandemic um, and its priorities over the last decade in terms of engagement and interpretation. And if we start there, then we can um, move on from that point. Yes, okay, very, very well. Of course, before the pandemic, it was quite different like uh, mm. as, as now it is. Uh, however, it is certainly the most important memorial site around the world. Yeah. Certainly the most known. Uh, when the remembrance is touching uh, in a very difficult and, and, and painful way, let's say the core of the European experience mm. of the Second World War, uh, we've got a lot of visitors last years. For example, in 2019, it was more than 2.3 millions of people all around the world, really all around the world, due especially to the development of the education about the Holocaust in uh, several uh, important countries. Uh, the geography of those visits were mainly Europe, Israel, mm -hmm. North uh, America, and the Far uh, East Asia. So there is still some directions that we, we need to develop, of course. Yeah. Uh, because it's a history that is not only touching, I don't know, Israel of Euro or Europe. It's certainly a, a history that is telling us a lot about about the, the human being. Uh, it's a lesson, let's say, that that could be certainly developed in, in, in many other places. Uh, that's why the education uh, is a certainly important factor of, of our work. When I yeah. when I tell about the education, that means the education on the real authentic place, through the uh, visits, through some programs, through some conferences, but also uh, some e-learning, uh, some uh, some uh, exhibitions that are traveling around the world. Now we have still uh, enormous exhibitions, more than let's say, nearly 3,000 uh, square meters in New York. It was in Madrid before. It will, it will travel in many different countries. And we are also trying to, to reach people through, through internet because we know that, uh, that there's a lot of interest for those history. For example, in the South uh, America, but those people, those, especially those young generations, have certainly not the possibility to, to, to make some, uh, some travel to Europe, True. especially maybe now, of course. Quite. Yes, absolutely. Um, yes, in terms of reaching new audiences, then, you're, you're using the digital space increasingly. Um, is it a challenge to reach new audiences? It was for us something uh, not very easy because uh, for many years, let's say, the, the main role of Auschwitz was uh, a role of uh, speaking authenticity. So, right. you know, uh, you can, of course, read uh, some books of Primo Levi or, or some yes. others. But, but walking through the authentic site, enormous site, uh, something like 200 hectares, is a unique experience. So we are really focused uh, on the educational work through the authenticity. Of course, it's something completely different uh, through internet. Mm -hmm. uh, however, uh, I spoke about the, the geographic situation. People from mm -hmm. Africa or, or some poorest country in the world uh, cannot make this, uh, this travel uh, to, to Poland, to, to, to Auschwitz. Uh, but especially now we realize that, uh, that let's say, we have to, to, to create, let's say, uh, continuous, continuing reflections about those issues all around the world. We cannot only wait for the people that are able to come. Right. So uh, we are extremely present in, in, in the most important uh, social media. Uh, it's not only a presence, it's more a continuing dialogue with many different people, with many different uh, groups, uh, societies, I don't know. Uh, it's something uh, certainly very important. We are trying to develop in the future. Now, it will be urged by the, the situation, the pandemic situation, uh, some new project. Uh, I hope that in one year we will be able to propose some, uh, some V through a three dimension okay. uh, possibilities uh, on visit of Auschwitz and, and, and Birkenau. But this is not only, let's say, uh, when you can go alone, but more visit when you can be accompanied by a, a guide, a educator, yes. somebody uh, that can explain you. Some visit when we can, of course, uh, put some uh, 
I don't know, some uh, some sentence of, of remembrance, some memories of, of survivors, maybe some some sort of things also. Yes, yeah, so, some context. So, yeah, so, so we are we are thinking uh, of a big developing, knowing very well that nothing will, of course, uh, be better than a real uh, personal experience of the authenticity yes. of the site. But we are living in, in times that are changing uh, a lot yes, now. Well, they certainly are. And I think the COVID pandemic has driven sort of innovation in terms of reaching people. It's had to, uh, and that's perhaps a good thing. Tell me about um, how you marked the 75th anniversary of the liberation. The 75th anniversary was very, very important. Maybe one of the most important in the history of this remembrance, because we've got still a big group of survivors all around the world with us, uh, with more than 200 people. That is really, really uh, extraordinary. It was a very moving presence. Yeah. Uh, some of them took the floor and, and gave us some very important messages. Uh, but there was also uh, more than 50 official state delegations, presidents, kings, I don't know, prime ministers. Uh, and uh, we avoid, I think, we was able to avoid, uh, let's say, uh, a strictly political dimension of this of this event. It was it was more, let's say, a, a serious presence in front of those survivors, in front of this very difficult site. You can still find on YouTube, uh, yeah. in English, uh, all this uh, event, and uh, and it was something very very important because you know we are we are still. Some survivors among us in our societies, but this time is coming to a near end. They are very old. They can uh, still uh, uh, give us some testimonies or some reactions, not mm. only in a historical perspective, but also some concrete reactions in, in our today's reality. Right. Uh, that is not very easy, of course, and we don't know what will be in 10 or 15 years no. uh, in, in our world. So they are still 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 there, but uh, but who knows how long it will be, be possible. Uh, so this event was for us uh, something yeah. Uh, yeah. very important, and and the media coverage was was enormous. Which yes. really hundreds of millions of people all around the world through the TV, and certainly more through the some articles in newspapers or, or in internet. This is very important because I think that those enormous numbers uh, show us that. It, it reached more people than all those who participated even uh, in uh, any, let's say, uh, lessons or discussions about, about the Holocaust or about Auschwitz. So, so I, I think really the, the conscience uh, about this history is growing in the world. I hope so. I hope so too. I really do. And that brings me to, are you optimistic in the light of history that teaching about the past has the power to prevent atrocities in the future? No, 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 of course not. It's very hard to be optimistic in our yes. this world. Look, uh, um, the, the history of, of, of the Holocaust, the history of the Second World War, the history of the atrocities in the camps, yep. uh, were mainly used in the lessons of history. Mm -hmm. It was a clear choice in the early 90s in the first countries, uh, because the risk was the deniers. Of yes, putting of this in the history, it was something very concrete, very... Uh, very, 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 let's say, securized for the future. However, the historical perspective, it's a very important one, but it's certainly not the only one. We have some ethical approach that could be developed, some uh, some approach to the social science, so the political education, through so civic classes. Uh, it, it's not a, a, a topic that has to be uh, closed in the history, something that has to speak to us when the survivors, even even already the prisoners in the in the in the time of the camp was was telling us uh, or telling to themselves never again, mm -hmm. not something about the past, something about the future. So this is our our role today, I think. And the situation is not very clear. The development of the world is very strange. Nobody knows who will be in the future, or what it will be in the future. We have in the last few years we've got some some uh, some genocide in, in Myanmar with the Rohingya. Uh, yeah. Last year we, we were alerted about the tragic situation of the Uyghurs in China. They were put 
by hundreds of thousands in some prisons that, that make sometimes uh, the impression that there are more camps than prisons. Uh, and now, during the, the, the coronavirus pandemic, uh, we have some new violences in many countries, in many, especially in the big city. Uh, yeah. Now in Leeds, uh, in Germany, in, in London, there was in Paris, in New York, in, in many different uh, different uh, big cities. Due to the stress, probably due to, due to some social changes that we are living now, due to some, uh, I don't know, lack of uh, perspectives from the uh, employment. Uh, yeah. So, so we have all all the time the impression that we have to do something more uh, in terms of how to implement the never again in our yes. today's world at different, very different level because it's a question of, of the recognition of minorities, the question of respect uh, between different cultures. It's a yeah. question about the help to those who need this help. Uh, so, of course, we cannot do that alone. We are we are discussing now with many different other smaller memorials or some institutions around the world how to implement this history not only in some lessons of history but also in some other lessons that maybe are more linked to our today's life. Right. Uh, yeah, this is I think the, the, the most important issue for the for the next future. We cannot uh, wait uh, ten years more. No, we can't. Okay, so what are the challenges that you envisage in terms of educating, and in, and how will that drive the museum's development into the future? No, uh, I think that the remembrance in general in our let's say part of the world is no more a very big issue. We can, of course, we have to work on it uh, yeah. eternally, but with the entrance of this uh, educations about the Holocaust in the schools, a uh, big steps. Uh, were done in, in many countries. However, I'm uh, not sure, to be frank, if, let's say, after this remembrance, uh, there are some real, let's say, recognition of the significance of this uh, uh, of this history for our today's times. Mm -hmm. uh, if, let's say, the awareness is growing really, when I look to the Completely silence of the silent of the world uh, to the Rohingya or to the Uyghurs. Yes. I have some serious doubts. So I think that the, really the biggest challenges is how to uh, how to let's say link in a very strong way our today's choice with our knowledge about the past. Yes. This is something that must be done in the schools, in, in programs, in the media. It, it, it must be a large, let's say. Uh, group of, of tools that must be used at the same time in many countries. So we are now preparing some uh, some proposals. We are discussing this in in some conferences in Yad Vashem. We are discussing this with the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum with, with some our most important partners because this is a, a, some those are, those are some changes that must be uh, let's say applied in, in the global way. Yeah. If you do that only in Auschwitz, it, it will certainly not function as well as we should. It's the old question, isn't it, of how to engage the whole of humanity in a concerted action. Or... But there is still, uh, I think, in some part of our societies, with some, uh, let's say, uh, uh, public authorities, with some uh, journalists or some uh, from, from, let's say people that has a lot of influence. There is a growing of this uh, uh, impression mm. that uh, Auschwitz and the Shoah is not only the matter of the past, but is a, is, a, is a issue for the future. Quite. So, yes. so I think we, we it will take some time. Uh, maybe the, 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 the new stresses and the new conflict that uh, appeared uh, during the COVID uh, maybe will help many other people, educators, teachers in schools, I don't know, uh, people responsible about the programs, mm -hmm. uh, that we have to, maybe not to change, but to, 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 to produce more intentions from different perspectives, not only the historical one. So this is something that we are working on this. We are preparing now, uh, we have opened just before the COVID, so it functions very well, but it's, it's a very good tool for us. A, an enormous yeah. educational center. We are exactly now uh, inside this yeah. building. Uh, we will be able to propose not only a visit, but some, or let's say, specific uh, conferences or 
or I don't know, discussions or activities for groups, uh, different yeah. groups, not only, uh, uh, let's say, the, 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 the young people from schools and there are yeah. some different other groups. Uh, we are now uh, starting to prepare a, a completely new visitor center, of course. So it's very important with this important yes. number of visitors that we hope will be back uh, in, very in soon. Yes. Times too. Uh, and we are still uh, developing uh, incredibly work, I think, to be developed, but, but really very good with, with journalists, because uh, not only classical journalists, but also with people from the uh, some social media or some internet. Uh, yeah. This is something very important because uh, the new generations are living in this world. Yes, maybe very more much than so. in books or in uh, yes. old media. And uh, we have to go inside. We have to try to be present because the, the real discussions, the real, let's say, evolutions of the. Um, uh, of the mentality, of the, of the way of thinking, of the way of approaching this history, now is in the internet. It's, it's no more in... Uh, of course. Sport. Absolutely. Yes, and the whole way of thinking is shorter. People want short sound bites and things to be encapsulated so they can understand... It's something very difficult. This, this short perspective of the social, social media is something completely, let's say, against some long uh, evolutions that we yes. are in a real need uh, altogether, of course. Uh, but, but however, with, even with those short messages, messages that, that the perspective of life of this, of this uh, message is very, very short, sometimes a few hours, sometimes one day, we can slow by slow, let's say, changing the way of thinking of, of many people and to be more, let's say, uh, to feel more responsible in, in our today's time, not only for themselves, but for what's going on around them in their cities, their regions, countries, or, or in the world. Do you think it means that we need to move away from tribal thinking, move away from the idea that we're all divided, subdivided into little boundaries, move it away from nationalism? Mm, certainly there's, there's a risk of, of uh, some societies that want to close on themselves is, is, is a very big risk, especially in times of troubles, yes. every time. Uh, and we observe this now, uh, also, oh. let's see, all those difficulties uh, between uh, the United States and Europe, between Russia and, uh, and many other countries. It, certainly the pandemic situation will not help that. However, uh, the real, uh, we are living in, in, in a really globalized world. Even yeah. if we want to close to, on ourselves, it will not be something that uh, will function. So, so uh, all sort of xenophobia, all sort of, uh, let's say, way to, to, to reject the others, to, to, to don't, do not feel, uh, let's say, interest or, or uh, you know, the, the, yeah. the, 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 the Myanmar issues is, is not my world. No, it's the same world. Yeah, uh, exactly. So we have to, to really work together. Uh, that's why we, we are trying to develop our net of institutions or museums or educational partners all around the world, not only in Europe or in this geography of the Holocaust or for the Second World War, because at the end, you can, you can hear in, in many different parts of the world, many different countries, continents, cultures, religions, at the end, it is the same questions about uh, what is the real value of the human uh, being and what you can do in order to, let's say, confirm this value and not to reject it. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. I've really enjoyed this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.